When it comes to retiring in Croatia, one of the most common questions we get is whether or not long-term status can be granted. Depending on what you consider long-term to be, the shortest answer I can give you is yes, but for anything longer than a year, things start getting complex. It's a case of theory functioning better than practice, which is not uncommon in Croatia. Here's the issue for non-EU, non-Croatian retirees. Croatia actually does not offer a residence permit solely targeted at pensioners. There are a couple of ways around this, but there will take time and nerves. They also don't allow you to eventually obtain permanent residence either. As a retiree, we can assume that you have no plans to work, but rather kick back and enjoy the Croatian sun. In this case, your two best bets are the prepayment of rent and investing in property. In the case of the former, you can be granted temporary residence for 12 months once you prove that you've paid a year's rent on a property. You will need to be registered and have a contract to prove this. That means that it can't be a property rented out to tourists on platforms like Booking.com or Airbnb. If you're granted this, you'll need to understand the following. You cannot work. You need to leave for a minimum of 90 days when the permit expires after one year. You cannot apply for this same permit again until six months have passed since the expiration of your initial permit. And most importantly of all, this does not put you on the path to permanent residence. Moving on to real estate investment in Croatia, you can also be granted a 12-month temporary residence permit as a retiree as long as you live in the property. You can't buy something and then rent it out to tourists. That's why the properties available for purchase in this regard can only be zoned as residential. The upside to this permit is that there's no limit to the amount of times you can apply for it. But the same rules apply as above. You have to leave Croatia for 90 days when the permit expires and you cannot apply for it again until six months have passed since your initial permit expired. Once again, this does not provide a path to permanent residence. As you can see, things are a bit complicated and Croatia might be missing out on an opportunity by not creating a residence permit specifically for retirees. If you're a non-EU national wanting to retire here and you're willing to loosen up your idea about what that might look like, Croatia could still be the place for you.